Playing in the moment is a contribution of ideas from everybody's source. If you see it as a, as a circle and people just move around from a sense of the side depending on what our idea is, but it's an interchange. And it is a, it's a telepathy between musicians of, of how to make the most of these ideas and also express yourself. So in, within the group is a creative flux and it's always changing. Playing in the moment is really a contribution of all the musicians around you, all the ideas, uh, the flow, the kind of flux of creativity that flows around and you pick up from various people. And when you're a kind of certain stage of musicianship, your technique isn't really a barrier and it just comes out as, as feel. But what's unique about it is that in the moment is a unique they're all unique moments because it would never happen again with all the other information that's going on, the musical information. Uh, this is this is really one of the highest achievements a musician can can have. Although this has changed over over time. If you if you look at uh, anything that's like freedom of expression playing, like jazz, you know. And you'll see that from now, when, when people used to be in a studio all together and just doing one take, they would leave that. These days, that happens, but not so much. People are aware of the techniques of overdubbing, and ever since uh, you were able to kind of transcend time and space with, with recording, then the demands came different, and people changed their idea, their outlook of playing. So these days, because of economic needs, because where everybody is in the world, we, we, we can record very differently but make it sound quite spontaneous. For instance, on my album I did uh, the tune, I, I composed the tune and I did it on Logic and I got some you know, uh, samples and stuff and made it the best I could but gave the impression of what I wanted. So the language was already there. I put some guitar on, which to me was you know, pretty, pretty final although subjects to change. I took it out, I got bass and drums to play together. They play within the groove, and then you take the original drums and bass off and you're left with a track, say, less to keyboards. But playing on this, they're playing to the track, uh, and it's sounding like we're all, we're all playing spontaneously. And the way that's achieved is, say, there's a, uh, somebody develops into a riff or a, or a polyrhythm, you don't join in straight away, you let them go a couple of times like you've heard it, and then you're joining in. So this gives the illusion that you're all playing together, but in fact, you're playing to a file, you're overdubbing on your own.